If you're wondering why this schoolroom set, it's to make one of our guest stars feel more at home. You see, Andy Griffith wasn't always Andy Taylor, Sheriff of Mayberry. As a matter of fact, he wasn't always Andy Griffith, comedian. He was originally Andrew S. Griffith, school teacher in Goldsboro, North Carolina. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend and partner, the Sheriff of Mayberry, Andy Griffith. Hey! <laughs> Lovely you say that. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Andy, how, why did you get out of the classroom, and what made you get out of the classroom and go on the stage? Uh, well, uh, my students. <laughs> huh? Well, that's right. They did an awful lot of laughing and very little learning. <laughs> well, you can just bet Andy Griffith was a very entertaining teacher, and he got his first taste for applause on one of his now very famous lectures. Teacher, it's all yours. All right. Uh, class, <clears throat> boys and girls, uh, my lecture for today is on the discovery of America. Now, a long, long, long time ago, over in the old country, over there in Italy, they lived this, uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. They, uh, <clears throat> they, uh, they lived, uh, they lived this sailor, and his name was Christopher Columbus. And, uh, he was a navigator. Now, you know what a navigator is. That's the fellow that tells you where to go. <laughs> and, and he believed, he believed that the world was round. And he had this tattoo on his arm to prove it. And uh, it was an anchor. And on the top, it said, Mother. And on the bottom, it said, The world is round. <laughs> and everybody thought he was a nut. They did. They used to sit around in front of the barber shop, and they'd say, here comes Crazy Chrissy. Let's get him to tell us how the world's round. Say, hey, Crazy Chrissy, how's the old round world treating you? <laughs> He'd show him his tattoo to shut him up, see. <laughs> well, it happened. It, uh, it, it happened. It happened that he, he was planning this trip around the world anyhow because he never had been to camp or anything. <laughs> and so he went over to see the king and queen of Spain to get the money to finance the trip. And their names was Ferdinand and Isabella. And their, ma their mamas named them that because they never had liked them much anyhow. <laughs> and now, now, now Isabella, Isabella the queen, she thought that Columbus was crazy too, but she always had like sailors. <laughs> And so when he told them about how the world was round, she says, Ferdinand, what you think of that? And Ferdinand is looking off up at the ceiling, trying to act like he wasn't listening. She says, Ferdinand, I said, what you think of that? He kept looking at the ceiling. She says, Ferd. She says, I said, what you think of that? He says, I think there's an awful lot of flies in the castle today. <laughs> she says, Columbus, don't you pay no attention to him. He says, me and you will go in the counting room. And when they got in there, she says, <clears throat> she says, I'll give you the money if you'll let me see your tattoo. <laughs> and he showed it to her. And she started to touch it. And he says, don't touch it where it says mother. <laughs> and she, <clears throat> she, I appreciate it. She, uh, she give him the money. See, she give him the money. She gave him the money, and he bought the ships and sailed across the Atlantic Ocean and discovered America. Columbus did. Which only goes to prove, if you've got a dream in your heart and a tattoo on your arm, someday they may name a city in Ohio after you. <laughs>